Hi, I'm Eric, and uh, for my hackathon, I wanted to do something a little different. Uh, this is not my game. Uh, this is currently running in WebAssembly on Firefox Nightly, which is an experimental browser. Uh, if you want to learn some more about WebAssembly, go watch my tech talk. Uh, that goes over all the basics pretty well. Um, so this is running in Unity, and it was kind of the inspiration for uh, what I wanted to do. I was I wanted to actually implement something that's, that's currently running in the browser in JavaScript and port it over uh, to WebAssembly just like this. So I just want to show off, first off, how fast this is. Okay, this is, that's a progress bar, which is going to disappear very quickly. <laughs> um, so that's one of the benefits of WebAssembly. Uh, so mostly I just kind of ended up experimenting. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's nice and sharp. It, you know, it jumps right into the game. Uh, and then if I switch over uh, to Chrome here, this is the one that's running in JavaScript. So it's the same game in JavaScript instead of WebAssembly. And if I reload this page, you'll see it kind of, you know, it's, it's still fairly fast, but it kind of chunks through. And then it just takes a while. And it loads in, and there's a secondary loading screen. And when you finally get there, everything's kind of choppy, at least for the first bit until everything gets set up. So that's the benefit of WebAssembly. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to port uh, the Unity project that I was working on. Uh, so that's a work in progress right now. I will probably have that up relatively soon. But this right here is running the Fibonacci sequence uh, up to 45, the 45th Fibonacci number. Um, and just to give you an idea, in WebAssembly right now, this is a program I wrote in C++ that's now not connecting. Uh, oh, yeah. And it's because of that. Okay. So let's try that again. Uh, so I wrote this in C++, compiled it through, so I learned a lot about compilers in C++. And you'll see that takes about 100 milliseconds, and it's pretty, pretty close to that every time. And then the JavaScript one, takes almost twice as long. So that's WebAssembly. I hope we all get to benefit from this soon, and I'm going to play with it a lot more.